そこで聞くがいい神の力の復活の序曲をル,ルーナこの歌は神の塔がこんなことってルーナ<笑>これこそが魔導都市アルテナ忘れられていた女神の力だこ,この声はまさか This, this is impossible. We defeated you. Fools. In the end, even you lack the power to see the truth. So readily believing that I was the mere puppet whom you defeated is a tad bit as insulting. But no matter. What have you done to Luna? Tell me now, Galleon! I see. You really don't know anything, do you? 
Let me open your eyes to the truth, Alex. Your precious Luna is nothing more than the reborn figure of the goddess Althena herself. Yeah, you're lying! For 15 years has the goddess Althena slumbered in the body of this girl. But now she has awakened and her power belongs to me. And with the Azure City of Althena as my throne, I shall rule the world! Athena, the time has come to depart from the abode. The cornerstone of our new world order. Yes, Lord Gallium. You're not going anywhere! Really? Then why don't you try and stop me, you pathetic humans? Let us just see if you really have what it takes to stand in the way of my ambitions. I mean, surely this isn't going to be any harder than uh, the previous fight that we just had, right? Uh, yeah. Let's just uh, go right in with it, I guess. Um, no. And now uh, weapon. And screw being defensive for this. Let's just go all out. We are pissed. Yeah, but that power of Blood Vigor doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? Especially compared to Endowed Weapon. Okay, that was a little unfortunate, but it's fine. We're fine. We're alive. Although, he didn't seem to telegraph the fact that he was going to cast anything, unless that whole, you know, wavy hair thing is supposed to be the tell, I don't know. Feeling much better now. He can definitely be harmed. I don't like the idea of an attack called Hell Wave. But nobody died. It makes you go, hell yeah! Now do the way! Yikes, Mia's not looking too great. He's tough, but this is suspiciously doable currently, right? There's another tornado. Wait, did J 
just get to heal first? Okay, we only have Mia down. I mean, that's still Mia down, but uh... We gotta keep fighting though. Just like, just like Ben Fold said one time, we're still fighting it. And by the way, the thing that Zero said earlier is entirely correct. This is a force loss. Basically, what I'm trying to do right now is build up everyone, everyone's arts gauge. It should stay full despite the fact that we're going to ultimately lose. Worm Crush. That was... weak. The hell was that? Like, frankly, that gives me a turn to do Miracle at me. Maybe this is a thing once, like, like once you've done X amount of damage, then then Galleon's just gonna uh, pull a kill move. But the main thing right now is I don't want to use any items. I don't want to use anyone's arts gauge. Oh, he's attacking twice now. This hell wave directly into Mia's face. Actually, yeah, he'll let me and um, Sir Galleon McDouchebag himself. Also, hey, Tyrion, taking this enemy fancy... fancy boy who happens to be the only person affected by the wind as the final boss. He is the final boss, but to be clear, this is not the final boss fight. In fact, this is actually a force loss that I'm kind of powering through right now. One, to see how far I can take this, and two, so that everyone can uh, charge up their arts gauge. And at this point, um, Mia has a little bit left to go and this should do it. But I am purposely not using any items right now. Youch.
Yeah, eventually he just starts doing two attacks. We're not using the power of friendship enough. Here's the power of friendship and all just popping out and finally rezzing someone. Fate Storm. Yeah, Fate Storm is your uh, your instant kill, for sure. Anyway, fight's done. Jessica, Kyle, Nash, Mia, Alex, we have we have to help Luna. Alex, if I don't get them out now, they're all gonna die. And Luna will die with them. I have to do it. I have to save them. アレス。アレス。アレス。恐れないで、アレス。どうか信じてください。あなた自身の力を。そしてルーナへの思いを。それこそが全ての力の源なのだから。女神、アルテナ様。信じて、本当の力はあなたたち自身の中にあるということ。Okay. No. What's going on? After Galleon beat, beat us, the white dragon wings started to shine and brought us here. I don't know what made them do that, Alex. Maybe Quark was watching over us. Been asleep since, since we got here three days ago. What about everyone else? They asleep too? Oh, no, Alex. Your injuries were the most serious by far. Jessica and Mia were worried you might never wake up. Now they're downstairs trying to figure out what we should do next. Nash and Kyle are... Well, you'll have to see it for yourself. And you won't be too happy. <laughs> We're beaten so hard we're sent back to the start of the game. I believe we are in Meridia right now. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, downstairs. I'm guessing they're probably in here. Well, two of them are. Alex! I'm so glad you're alright. We didn't know if you're ever going to come out of it. It turns out you're just a really sound sleeper. Jessica's been using her healing magic on us since we got here, Alex. We, are, we owe her our lives. Thank you, Jessica. It was nothing, Alex, I promise. Nell's just trying to embarrass me, and he's doing a great job. So have you talked to Kyle yet? He hasn't said a word to me since we came back here. He's been too busy getting himself reacquainted with the joys of the bottle. Nesh has also been acting strangely, Alex. If voice be instead of speaking with me. Jessica and myself have been preparing a second assault on Galleon, but Nash hasn't participated at all. It's like he doesn't even care what happens to us anymore. We're all very concerned, but he refuses to speak, me, speak with me or tell me what's wrong. What's happened to him? I can't believe Kyle's fallen back into his old habits. After, I mean, Galleon might have hurt Kyle's pride, but his body is fine. He needs to stop sulking and start getting ready to fight Galleon again. Alright, so we need to find uh, Kyle and Nash. I'm not entirely sure where they are, but before we do that, there is a missable item that we need to get right now. So we need to go back to Remus's shop. They're not dead, just drunk and maybe really depressed. Pretty much. Also, we can't leave town. You might have seen uh, the guards there at the at the door. I heard what happened, Alex. I never thought Galleon's magic would be would be strong enough to control Luna's soul. But I know the real Luna's still alive. No magic has the power to destroy her will to live. Alex, I want you to take anything you need from my store free of charge. I hope there's something here that can help you. Ramus. Thanks. Cheer up, Alex. I know you won't fail, Luna. You're just too strong to fail, buddy. We get Jess Bromide 2 and Mia Bromide 2. This is one of my most prized possessions, but I want you to have it, Alex. Sorry, folks, but I'm only giving free equipment to the Dragon Master. Everyone else has to pay. <laughs> the world's about to end and Ramus is still making money. I may have just said to take anything you want, Green Eyes. Except me, of course. <laughs> so yeah, we can just... load up, really. So, you know, there's no reason not to. I'm glad you came, Green Eyes. I just hope I get to see you again sometime soon. Uh, so let us go ahead and check out those bromides. Summer fun in the sun. That's a good question, Tyrion. I don't think I want to know the answer. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, let's see. 
So now we gotta find Kyle and Nash. And this guide is not being particularly useful about where to find them. But I'm gonna guess Nash is probably around here somewhere. Nope, this ain't it. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe you know. Fifteen years ago, the goddess came to us, came to us in mortal form. But more than that, I know not. Dine would never tell me what happened on his last adventure, no matter how often I asked. Now the power of the goddess has been revived by Galleon, or the magic emperor, as he chooses to call himself. Galleon is attempting to create the perfect world he has always envisioned. But the irony is that he, had, he has never been able to see the many flaws in his grand scheme. And you're just being a bodyguard, I assume. I thought that uh, Nash would be around here, but apparently not. Have you seen Nash? I know where Mia is. Yeah, I know where Jessica is. Stop being creepy. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it seems like Galleon was pretty much just fronting the entire time. So my understanding is Galleon's like over a hundred years old. Fate or smoked fish. Yeah, we're we're not done yet, but we do need to figure out where the hell Nash and Kyle are. And assuming Kyle is easy, yeah, there's probably a bar somewhere around here. I don't know exactly where it is, but maybe it's this place here. Nope, this is a shop. Um, oh, that's closed. This is probably also a shop, as evidenced by the shield on the sign. Maybe the bar is closer to the to the uh, docks. That seems like more of a place to have a bar. This guy is still dead. I mean, maybe if you move the bottle of wine out of the way, you'd have a better time. There he is. Hey, Alex. Well, buddy, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> Hey, Ricky. I'm just a thief, buddy. I don't have the strength or the skill to fight someone like Alien. And now that he's paired up with Alvina, there's just that, more, that much more out of my league. Not to mention the Azure City of Alvina is the biggest thing I've ever laid eyes on. How do you plan on fighting something like that? <laughs> Why don't you have a few beers with me before I hit the road for Nanza, Alex? Let's drink to the battle. Well fought. <laughs> I think I see Nash up there too. Alex, I'm not surprised to see you here. I knew you I knew you'd feel his power, his incredible power. And I knew you'd be too afraid to leave here again. And you should be afraid, Alex. Stronger than all of us. You're doomed to be defeated. 
we were insane to think we ever had a chance to stop him. I was lost, Alex. I was lost. Leave me alone, alright? Told, told you there's nothing we can do to stop Galleon. Nothing! You probably hunt me down and kill me anyway. I, don't, I know I'm gonna pay for my betrayal. It's not easy to accept a single lapse of judgment will cost me my life. What are you talking about? Betraying Galleon was the smartest thing you've ever done! I suppose I can't convince you to come back either, huh? Time's almost up, Alex. So let's have some booze and have some good, dirty fun. <laughs> well, I'd be in a happy place when the end comes. I've never seen Kyle this upset before, Alex. Alright, well, apparently they're lost causes. Let's go talk to the people who still have some fight left in them. Maybe a lost cause, but as long as we're alive, we're going to do something. Can't believe Kyle's fallen back in into his old habits. Oh, wait, actually, I can believe it. Good heart slap in the face ought to wake him up. Miska's been so sad about the way Kyle's been acting. That's not true, Mia. I only care before because the future of our world is at stake. It's not like I haven't seen Kyle act this way before, but I'm tired of letting him get away with it. Come on, Alex. It's time for me to straighten Kyle out. Nash is also at the bar, isn't he? I'll come with you. This way. Over here. Ah, uh, this door. <laughs> Passed right by it. Like a doofus. Hey Jess! I was wondering where where you were. Come pour me another beer? So drunk, I can't see my glass anymore. <laughs> uh, Jess, here today. Kyle, I didn't think it was possible for you to get any dumber, silly me. How can you just quit when the entire world is at stake? I'm the stupid one. You're the one that always seems to forget we've already lost to Galleon. Those dragon wings hadn't kicked in, we would all be dead. Dead! Huh, oh, did you bruise your poor little ego, Kyle? Get over it. I want you to tell me that you can beat Galleon with one arm and one leg behind your back. All you talk about is how big and strong you are, so why can't you be a big strong man like you defend- uh, So why can't a big strong man that like you defend a helpless little girl like me? Tell me why. Jessica, you're not strong. You're weak. <laughs> Thing that last beer gave me some extra energy. I'm ready to go when you are. Kyle. Galleon hurt me, Jess. And now I'm gonna hurt him. When Jess and me were kids, another boy hit her and made her cry. I beat the tar out of that punk. And I promised Jess I'd do the same to anyone who hurt her. I'll never forget making that promise to you, Jess. Never. Kyle. Now that's the Kyle I know. There we go. Mia, I'm sorry. But I don't think I can fight anymore. I'm afraid of Gal what Galleon will do to me. Ash. Go ahead and laugh at me, Mia. I know I'm a coward. I know I've let you down. Again. 
I'm not going to laugh at you, Nash. I'm here to thank you for fighting as hard as you did. What? I can't force you to fight, Nash. Not when I'm just as afraid of Galleon as you are. Ah. You made me feel strong, Nash. You made me feel confident in myself like no one else would, or like no one else could. And because of you, I know I'm ready to take my place as the next leader of the Magic Guild. I'm ready to defend our world against Scallion's evil. Nash, if I don't come back, I promise that you'll look after my mother. She's going to need some emotional support to recover from the effects of Galleon's spell. I might not be there to provide for her. Mia. Yeah. Mia, you make it sound like I'm retired, but I'm in my prime. If you guys don't have me with you, how are you gonna? F uh, how are you gonna? F <sighs> if you guys don't have me with you, how are you gonna have a chance against Galleon? Let's show them the strength of the Magic Guild. I'm so happy you've changed your mind, Nash. Thank you. I'm glad there's nothing Nash won't do to impress Mia. Good grief. Kyle and Nash are completely under these girls' thumbs. Micah! Galleon has combined his power with the strength of Alvina, and he's stronger now than he's ever been. Even knowing that, you still have the courage to fight him? Answer truthfully. You know what? If we're all together like this and all determined to win, I think we can do it. I'll do anything to save Luna. I'll give up my life for hers. The time may come when you have to keep to that promise, but let's pray you don't. I'll wait for you, Alex. Come back when you're ready, and I'll show you the way. The way to what, old man? Patience, now. Go and prepare yourself, Alex. I'll be here. Enjoy my beer. So I'm going to go ahead and save, and then I'm going to go ahead and special save, because once we, um, once we talk to Laika here, that's the point of no return. This is where we are locked into the endgame. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. I mean, we've um, stocked up on items, including 99 Angel Sears, 99 Holy Water. I can't really foresee that we're going to need any other items than this. And we pretty much have the best equipment that we can possibly get, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there are any uh, stores that will give us any equipment any better than this. So, let's do it. Get ready, Alex? Get ready when you are. Follow me. Where are we going, Laika? The place where it all began, Alex. The place where you took the first step on your quest. And the White Dragon is gonna take us there. Huh? Let's go! I thought there was a cutscene there, that's why I bumped up the volume. Well, where are we? The Heinz Monument? Like, uh, did I do that? How did we get here? What's going on, old man? <laughs> There's something which I wish to speak to you about. The truth of what happened 15 years ago when Althena was reborn. And what happened on that day to Dragon Master Dai.
Again, I thought there was going to be a cutscene, so I bumped up the volume there too. I There was going to be a cutscene somewhere in this, I swear. Step aside, Dine. I have no more to say to, to one who will not listen to the voice of reason. However, perhaps it is not too late to return Althena to some semblance of sanity. Don't you understand? If she carries out her plan, the world will perish. Galleon. The rebirth of the goddess in human form is something which must not be allowed. The goddess Althena, surrendering her powers in, in the, into the world where... Uh, surrendering her powers into the world to be reborn as a mere human, making this her final transmigration for all time. And you, willing to throw away her, your power as well, willing to join her in this madness. You know what, Zero? Go eat a ham. Why, Dine? Why do you continue to travel this selfish path? You're wrong, Galleon. Though she shall cease to exist as a goddess, Althena shall never pass from this world. She will live on in the heart of and soul of every human. She will smile each time two people fall in love. Nonsense, Dine. That is nothing but a deceptive stream of deadly romantic rhetoric. The world needs the power of Althena. She is all that holds order from chaos. Dine, turn back! やめろ。なぜだ。なぜなんだ。アグテラの目前も私に見えない何が見えるというのだ。希望だ。一人一人の人間が築き上げる未来への希望だ。わからん。私にはわからない。Despite her pure intentions, Althena's presence was bring bringing about more harm than good, and her many children were becoming ever more dependent upon her. Instead of working together to improve the world they shared, as she had always desired, they jealously competed for her attention, bickering to receive her blessings. Althena relinquished her power, entrusting the fate of her children to themselves, and assumed the form of a human being to live in the world she created. You mean... Luna? Yes. How could you possibly know something like that? Who are you, old man? <laughs> Anyone want to take a guess? Or is it kind of obvious at this point?
give you a second chat if you want to respond. <laughs> Can't believe his real name is Big Boss. I mean, he's one kind of boss. I might say a former Dragon Master. Yep. I never thought I'd speak my true name again, Alex. Not since I began my new life. That day, I of my own free will joined my fate with that of all females. And if that meant losing everything I had attained, I decided to believe in the future which she so fervently believed in. To walk the path of hope which she tread. The Dragon Master known as Dine died on that day. Was reborn as Laika. I've never regretted what I did, Alex. Not until Gallium became the Magic Emperor. <sighs> Gallium's using his power to reawaken the goddess. Or even worse, trying to become a god himself. The only ones capable of ending this are those who. <laughs> the only ones capable of ending this are those to whom Althena entrusted the future. That is you! Our fate is in our hands. And the Dragon Master isn't just Althena's protector, Alex, but a protector of all that Althena has created. Your love for Luna, and for the world Althena created, is true. Awaken this blade from his slumber and become a true Dragon Master. A true Dragon Master. Before we do that, I'm going to test the thing. Here you go. Alright. Um, so while I pause the recording, I just want to make sure that the audio is still working for other videos that we've already seen, and it does. It was just specifically those two videos so far, but we're about to jump into another cutscene here, and hopefully it works. Let's see if it does. Luna. Okay. And finally, after trying damn near every day for 15 years, Now we already had the Master Sword, now we have the Dragon Sword. Alex, you look great! You look ten times stronger! Now make that a hundred times! Are we, are we ready to beat the hell out of Galleon or what? Oh yeah! Let us all believe in the power of humanity. The power that Althena entrusted to every one of us. But how are we going to get to the Azure City of Althena? Not even the airship can fly high enough to reach it. It's impossible. The legend spoke of the Dragon Master astride his great dragon soaring into the heavens. The last of the dragons is now lost forever. <laughs> Alice's dragon has been with him the, the whole time. Isn't that right, Nal? No, you're really a dragon? Yeah. I understand now, Alex. After all this time, I finally know what I am. An incredible power is awakened within me, and its flame has become unquenchable. Let's go to the outer city and rescue Luna. <laughs> How do I look, Alex? Pretty cool, huh? You're 
you're definitely bigger. But since when do flying cats turn into dragons? It's the world's closer to extinction than I thought. Hurry now, Luna's waiting for us. I can't believe the mandatory anime RPG mascot was highly important to the plot. Oh, Galleon. Why does it come to this? I wouldn't. What I would, what would have given for you to understand the power of humanity? Athena's future now rests in your hands, Alex. There it is! The address city of Althena! The ride was a little bumpy, everyone. Still getting used to these new wings. You did a great job, Noel. Any any ride we can walk away from is a good one. Now, Alex, promise that you'll let me get in a few good licks before you finish Galleon. What are we waiting for, Alex? Let's rescue Luna and bring her home. You read my mind, though. Alright, so here we are at the uh, pretty much final dungeon. Ready to uh, finally deal with Galligan once and for all, now that we are the true Dragon Master. We should probably make sure that the Okay, Althena sword is equipped. Also, Dragon Ring. I don't know why that got unequipped, but there it is. So yeah. Can we even change our gear? Yeah, we can change our gear. There's no reason that we would want to. Well, yeah. Let's get into the Azure City of Althena and finally deal with this problem once and for all after break. So y'all can take a moment, get something to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall take on this final area and um, hopefully save the world of Lunar from a deadly fate. So, I'll see you in a bit.